Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Digginia. This is going to be BSL Season 14, Hostile League, Round of 16, Group C, bottom left-hand corner. We have Exit starting as the Teal Turn, upper right-hand corner, or I guess at the 3 o'clock location. We have Dentarg starting as the, you know, I want to say gray, but it's kind of a grayish-blue color commentary. This is going to be the loser's bracket. Whoever exits out of this will get another shot at Kiko in the finals to see who advances to the round of eight. Whoever loses here is eliminated. And this is going to be on Monopoly. Not entirely sure who to favor here. Exit, a very creative player. He has a really, really, really strong game sense. But he can lack when it comes to overall build order tactics. He can have gaps in his build order, but he's very good at adjusting is really what it comes down to. In fact, <laughs> I remember casting him in Chobu League two seasons ago. I'm like, what was going on with that build order? And he's like, you know, I was just playing by the heels of my pants. That's just sometimes how I play. Dentarg, really strong macro, solid play. And just one of those guys that's, I don't know. I, I, I just want to say that Dentarg is a solid Protoss player. And knowing that Exit tends to get more creative, I feel like Dentarg is one of those players who's capable of dealing with a lot of the antics, like the Vulture Drops, the Proxy Factories, the all sorts of crazy stuff that Exit can pull. Oftentimes, I feel like Dentar Dentarg's one of those guys who can take it in stride because he's seen it all, he's played it all. So we'll see. So I'm going to give the, I guess, early favor to Dentarg, but I think Exit is capable of sneaking these matches. Thus far, actually planning his barracks, leaving a gap on the northern ridge. So not exactly a seal here. SVA believes moving out to go ahead and scout. We are seeing a robotics gateway and an assimilator up for Dentarg. Also, a refinery plopping down for exit. I do want to say exit is one of those guys that I feel like in a year or two, maybe a year and a half, if he can keep up the level of play and just practice, 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 I would not be shocked to see him in Pro League. I don't, he just keeps getting better. And he's one of those, so I'm going to say that on his, uh, for him on his end as well. And I love watching his games. I feel, he's kind of like, I don't want to call him the, whatever. I'll just leave the thought there. SCV scouting upper left hand first. Looks like Dentar is also heading that direction. Therefore, both players going to scout each other last. The Zealot is going to be on the ramp. The Zealot is capable of blocking out this SCV. But it looks like instead, it's going to go ahead and march forward directly to exit space. I'm not sure if Exit's going to realize, especially with this SCV gap, that that Zealot was making its way that direction. We are not seeing... Oh, sorry. I was going to say we're not seeing gas here for Dentarg. We've seen a, kind of a move in meta recently from Protoss of skipping that range. But it looks like he's going for range. I actually feel like this is one of those maps where it's a little bit more advantageous to skip range. Just because you do have uphill battles. You do have kind of the egg morphing. It looks like I... This is something I missed. Three SCVs sticking on gas for Exit. So he's actually plopping down a factory right as part of his front door seal. And I would not be shocked to see him going for a second factory. SCV peeked in. Dropped back out. Zealot. I think this is maybe Dentarg not accustomed to Monopoly. Three Marines towards the front. This Dragoon making its way this direction. It looks like a command center being plopped down. This is kind of danger town for exit because the Dragoons... The Dragoon can be taken out by three Marines, but the Zealot... On top of everything else can do a lot of damage. And SCV pulling off the line. Exit being a little bit too greedy. Command center certainly going to be delayed. And this was a machine shot behind this. So yeah, exit actually on that scouting path. For it. At least in a delayed command center. Potentially a canceled command center. He's holding up now. Building that first siege tank. And actually might get eliminated. Pulling off with two marines. That zealot and that dragoon. Still a superior attack force. So Exit having a lot of trouble and taking significant losses and SCV plopping down to continue because he wants to try to speed up getting this built. Marines trying to do damage as they can, but this is a lot of lost mining time. A lot of lost SCVs, a lot of lost Marines. First Siege Tank's going to be out in just a second. And wow. So Dentarg getting a lot of damage done here early. Marine and a Siege Tank should be finally sufficient to go ahead and push these troops back. Or maybe not. He's pushing in. The Zealot's gone. The Dragoon's taking a bit of damage. There, it's going to go ahead and back out. But wow, that command center was severely delayed. A lot of SCVs were killed in that effort. 
and a bunch of Marines were killed as well. And Exit's over committing with this siege tank. These two Dragoons. And there's still no bunker on the front. So one Dragoon down. Nice micro there by Exit. This Marine's going to sacrifice itself to go ahead and get an SCV on the siege tank to go ahead and keep it alive. But this natural expansion has been up for Dentarg for quite some time in the interim. He's already up to three gateways. He's got his robotics facility, his observatory. He's accelerated his build order greatly. And Exit still doesn't have his natural expansion up. He's still struggling to get into a defensive posture here. It looks like he's opted... Wow, I actually skipped. Very brave. So he went mines first to go ahead and create some defense on the front. He's got... He's still getting aggressive with these siege tanks. Pylon wall's already there for Dentarg. So Dentarg actually... He can go ahead and keep pumping Dragoons at this stage. And be in a nice position to go ahead and grab his third. Exit moving forward with, I think, I, don't, I won't, I'm going to call this kind of a desperation something. He's got a starport plopping down. So he's going to move these troops forward, hope to get a drop over the wall. But I believe Dentark has, first of all, a lot of troops to go ahead and deal with this. But secondarily, if he's not careful, he's going to lose this entire army and give Dentarg basically a free third. Dentarg sees it, moves forward, takes Takes out the vultures, and now some siege tanks of exits very likely going to get picked off as well. And these are siege tanks he needed to, to keep Dentarg off his front. Now, I think Dentarg, he's got decisions. Does he want to go ahead and grab his third, having done all of the damage he's done? Or does he want to go ahead and just press that front door and really make exit pay, keep that siege tank count low? Because right now we've got, what, two mines, a siege tank, and that is, and a couple mines in between, and that is it. As far as the defense is on Exit's front door, he's down supply. He does have that dropship up. The dropship's moving over to the corner. It's going to try to filter in some vultures. Luckily for Dentark, he has decided to stay at home base with these Dragoons. But it's only going to be two vultures potentially dropping at the natural expansion. You can just see Exit just being extremely aggressive with his play. The dropship getting intercepted, though. One vulture drops. Immediately gets popped because it was low on health. The second vulture has taken several hits. I don't even know that it's going to get a probe kill. The probe's going to attack the probe. Battle probe. Can I find the winner? Nope. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to find the probe that got the kill. But that was a big investment for Exit. He still only got a single siege tank on his front door. That was a starport and a dropship's worth of gas. Now dropping two additional factories, but... Dentarg way in the lead, huge worker count lead. He's already established the fourth now come, or sorry, the third coming online. He's even peaking, potentially thinking about taking his fourth. He can go ahead and grab a bunch of additional gateways. He's dropping a cannon preventatively, getting a robotic support bay up as well. The only hit I have on Dentarg right now is, is he's way ahead. I want to see him get even further ahead. Seal those advantages. He has the pylon wall, that cannon to go ahead and defend in that upper right -hand corner. He's got exit. In a very tender situation, but here's the thing: like with all of this, the there's been no movements from Dentark to get aggressive. To go, not that he needs to, but I would love to see it just to have that cap on the game. It looks like additional siege tanks being produced. We have some, so we got the double machine tank or double machine shop siege tank production here. Two out of kind of four factories plus one weapons, and I think Exit's just going to try to make his own timing here with a lot of troops. See if he can have something sufficient. Right now, Vulture's catching probes. Going to get a lot of kills. Nice timing on Exit's part. Yeah, and it looks like only... F so out of that transfer, that was a huge win. And Dragoon's taking damage behind this. All of a sudden, Exit not looking so shabby. So four probes remaining. Vulture's not able to shoot the gap. But that really detrimented Dentarg's worker count. It is going to still be about even. You got seven. Still a seven worker lead. But with the follow-up, Exit trying to build out of four factories. I think he's still going to, once this, maybe drop a fifth factory once he's got the minerals here. I still think he's going to go and try to push this rather than go for a third. Especially considering that, like, if he was trying to go for a third, then Dark's suiciding a, I don't think intentionally suiciding, but does see... A lot of siege tanks and vultures gathering up. Well, let's see if Dentarg stayed on top of his macro. That's the other factor. I was a little concerned that he was staying a little bit 
He was sticking at the three gateways for an extended period of time, so I feel like he's opening things up for exit. So he, he grabbed the third, but he didn't grab a fourth. He didn't plop down a lot of additional gateways to really capitalize on the stronger economy, and so exit actually might... And as I say that, a drop in the main. Caught me by surprise a little bit there. Zealot's able to get a lot of disruption done. It looks like the Reaver going to go ahead and take out that turret, which is going to open up an opportunity for that shuttle to sneak back out. Two siege tanks looking to engage this. A nice defense by exit overall. He's still way behind in the overall worker count. And actually transferring the SCVs back with the Reaver still on the ground, having to retransfer. It looks like he's going to position troops out towards the natural expansion of Dentarg. So Dentarg might be distracted and might need to be a little bit careful. There's that Reaver still there. The Dragoon's now finding... Oh, hey, there's an attack force to my north. The Zealot's streaming up. It looks like they do have Zealot leg speed. Good mind drag into that forward siege tank. But Dentarg, like I was saying, sitting on that lower gateway count for that period of time. Plus one weapons is now here, and Exit is all of a sudden at his natural expansion. It looks like that shuttle was taken out at the, at the main. Dentarg needs to hurry up and get the troops out, but it looks like... All of a sudden, some siege tanks were left to the north. Exit didn't have a cohesive attack force. Got a bit distracted. And Speed Zealot's able to get on top of the siege tanks and clear that out. So Dentarg, now with the defense, able to once again quash one of Exit's attack attempts. Oof. Ate a bit of a mine there. But he's way up in the work account. Is sitting on three bases. He got a good amount of economic disruption with that previous drop. Exit... Did plop down a fifth factory. I just want to see Dentark fill that gateway count out. Looks like he's got the High Templar building as well. Or may maybe some movements. It feels like he should be further along off the the four base progression that he's got. Starting to move up to go ahead and establish his fourth. Clearing out a mine. Vulture nearby. Maybe wanting to suicide and take out that probe. It's not going to happen. So fourth now being grabbed. For Dentark, so this is going to be four base versus effectively two for Exit. Although Exit looks like he's just going to meander up with those vultures. And Dentark really hasn't applied any pressure to stop Exit from just grabbing straight up a third naked. Like he hasn't had an attack force on the ground this entire time. Vultures looking to push out once again. Maybe pick out this probe before any additional turrets have been dropped. Exit flooding those vultures forward. Still trying to get some additional kills and some... Mind clears, it looks like he is going to be somewhat successful. Well, sorry, unsuccessful in doing so. Mostly vultures dying, some mines getting cleared, not much else. Exit moving out again, this time with a dropship. Some siege tanks. But as the game progresses, Exit still sitting on two bases. He's just now grabbing his third. And Dentarg is sitting on four. Finding the dropship with some dragoons before everything's even in place. But again, not much of a, a defense force. Troops wandering in. They're getting... The Observer's not here, so the mine's getting wiped out. A lot of goons getting taken out as well. A High Templar dropping. I don't think it even had some Psy Storm. At least not able to drop a Psy Storm. So that's getting cleared out. Now Exit finally getting some purchase on the natural expansion. Maybe these High Templar will be able to clean things up and storming from the high ground. Zealot's moving out. So Exit's able to get a little bit of purchase. Nice mind drags, but is he going to be able to hold it with what Dentarg's fielding? And it does not look like it. Dentarg, once again, this almost feels like a, a sort of Zerg style of Protoss where it's like defend precisely with just enough troops to reset everything. And then usually that's something you see more defensive Zerg trying to do. Usually with Protoss, it's like keep an overwhelming attack force on the ground. However, Dentarg still has troops, moving it back out. Exit still trying to press into this, realizing that he is very economically behind. And also that's going to help as he's applying the pressure. He's going to keep Dentarg off that third base. Fourth base is up, but not yet mining. There are cannons there in the way. Goliath here as well. And Exit regrouping, looking to get another attack. So Dentarg still needs to keep... Filtering the troops out, dropping more Zealots. The Goliath got a little bit of damage on that shuttle, but immediately distracted by these Zealots. And now the Zealots look like they're going to be able to go ahead and clear out what is left. Maybe. Those Goliaths 
The Goliaths always look so confused to me. They Just like the way they walk. It's like, I'm going to look over here while I'm running from these. You'd think they would be staring at the zealots that are chasing after them. The rest of these zealots look like they're getting mostly cleaned up by latent mines. However, Dentarg now able to go ahead and get probes on that 1 o'clock base. So he's mining at 4. His main skin is looking thin, so that potentially is going to get taken care of. Mostly my concern, he does have the supply count lead. He does now have Arbiters, but these Arbiters feel very late. I think he's still going to be in okay position, though, just because of all of the shenanigans, the shenanigans that Exit's pulled, and the amount of troops that Exit has just dedicated and lost in a lot of these exchanges. Plus two weapons, no plus one armor as of yet for Exit. It looks like he's going to go potentially for another drop, maybe a drop in this upper right-hand corner. There are cannons there to potentially deal with it. Another Stargate up in that corner as well, and a Trap Dragoon. That's what you get, Dragoon. For whatever com whatever crimes you committed. Enjoy your pylon blockade. Dropship has been spotted. It's still trying to make its way to that upper right-hand corner. With this, with the two siege tanks, actually, it might be able to get something accomplished here. So maybe the Arbiter's got to move up and work on the defense. I think Zealots can still slip through that pylon wall. Yeah, and take care of what's here. Pulled off briefly. A single siege... So a single cannon wiped out and otherwise getting... It looks like the dropship might escape with three health. The one advantage here for Exit... So he's down in supply. I think he's even in upgrades. Although we'll have plus one armor in a second. But really, he's been able to take this third without a lot of... Hoopla from Dentarg. Dentarg's kind of just let it happen. However, Dentarg now... Going ahead and grabbing that upper left-hand corner. He's nearing 200 supply. He's got two Arbiters out in the field. Actually looking for the Tribunal. His main's just mined out. There's the Tribunal. Working on Recall. And actually, I feel like Recall could be absolutely devastating to Exit. Because he has been overextending and fielding a lot of troops at various locations, losing them. But one good Recall right over the factory line... And it could be a challenge for Exit to get back in position to defend. Going to have energy for it in not too long. Both directions. Level 1 armor should be online for Exit and dealing with that, which will give him a, well, potentially a slight upgrade advantage. Never mind, it's going to be about dead even because level 2 armor is going to come online for Dentarg in that period of time. Dentarg using a probe to go ahead and check out. I think this is more a scouting probe than it is a probe to grab this base, just making sure that Exit's still on three bases, although it's technically going to be two shortly because that ma that main is starting to mine out. Now, granted, <clears throat> Dentarg near max supply, but keep in mind a lot of that is in oversaturation of probes. He's got 91 probes right now, which means his attack force potentially is just about even. I missed a recall. Looks like it was a small recall right over the main. I don't feel like there's a lot to accomplish here. I was maybe hoping for a bigger recall that was going to start attacking uh, into... But it, that does draw a lot of these forces back. A drop for exit now in the upper left-hand corner. That is going to eg that is going to exit this base. The probe's going to have to flee. They can go back across the probe line to defend. And this is going to be a challenge for... Dentarg to clean up. He does need to send some zealots up here somehow. And this is a long way distance for them to travel, so that Nexus might get taken out. But with these probes getting taken out, it actually might be advantageous for Dentarg, because that's freeing up supply for him. But all of a sudden, with those two exchanges, kind of a another recall in the main. Siege tanks and vultures are here to go ahead and potentially mitigate. Yeah, so that's going to get cleaned up quite rapidly. However, that is buying time. That Nexus is barely surviving here in the upper left-hand corner. Not a lot of health left. But all of a sudden, if Exit grabs an additional base, so his natural expansion is mined out, his main is basically mined out. Not sure I liked the drops there. A single Dragoon working on a supply depot. It's not long for life. A pylon being grabbed in that... Uh, kind of a desperation pylon being grabbed in that upper left-hand corner. But this is going to be two base versus three base. 
with even supply and exit with level 3 weapons and a lot of Siege Tanks and Goliaths wandering around the map. The last several drops have been pretty lackluster. And a lot of idle probes now for Dentarg. So Exit, actually not in a bad position all of a sudden. However, a recall to the upper left Psy Storm catching a lot of these troops. So that is going to disrupt an additional mining base. However, while that's happening... Exit is once again looking for the attack at the natural expansion to pin Dentarg in. And he doesn't have a lot of... He's got, it looks like, a single Stargate out as far as things in other corners. So he's happy to sacrifice. And actually, it looks like he cleaned up the attack at the 10 o'clock location. So all of a sudden, Exit with a huge amount of purchase at the natural. And a stasis catching two of the siege tanks. Dentarg looks like he's pushing into this once again. Might be able to clean this up. Arbiter taken out. Still three, still three siege tanks standing. Morzelt's going to dive in to go ahead and clean this out. But supply counts have now shifted into a lead for exit. And if you look at the even worker count, that basically means he has an overall army supply lead. The question is, is can he get that army in proper position and defend? Right now, if Dentarg just holds... He's in a pretty good position to go ahead and, as an afterthought, go ahead and grab this base in the interior 3 o'clock location. He can go ahead and take the main of this upper left-hand corner, which he's doing right this second, starting to filter his probes that direction. And he's essentially going to starve Exit out, being up four bases to two. But he needs to keep up with that macro, and he needs to get that critical supply lead back. Maybe some more Arbiters, maybe some more High Templar. I've actually liked the High Templar in the grouping for Dentard. He's going to go... He's sweeping... Yeah, realizing the situation. He's just sweeping, checking the bottom right-hand corner bases. Exit grouping up. Actually, still is a drop ship. That could be an X-Factor loaded with two siege tanks. But honestly, the one thing for Exit right this second is I don't see a lot of siege tanks. So he's got a lot of supply. He's got a very... Almost a completely upgraded Terran army. Is he working on armor 3? He is working on armor 3. Science Vessel is now coming out as well. But this is mostly in Vultures and Goliaths. There is a severe lack of siege tanks. So there's two siege tanks here, two siege tanks here, and two in the dropship. Not much else. Exit wandering back out. Again, potentially going to press that natural expansion. It looks like two siege tanks dropped. Been missing these drops as they're moving across the map. So two siege tanks getting here, getting a handful of probe kills. They're not going to survive very long. It almost feels as weird because usually you see Terran moving across the map where it's like, ah, I got to defend this recall usually and then get back across the map to defend other things. But it's been exit instead where, okay, I'm going to drop you here and then just dive in. High Templar getting picked off. It's going to come down to a lot of mines to try to defend this though. So he's just relying on Dentard to overcommit the troops and it looks like there are observers alongside. There's only three siege tanks, four siege tanks as part of this army. And science vessels otherwise. The stasis stasising two of those siege... Sorry. Four of the siege tanks. So only one siege tank remaining. So Dentard looking like he is going to be able to go ahead and clean the rest of this up. So the natural expansion again trying to bottle up that natural expansion. And again being denied by Dentard. And losing a lot of troops. Looks like there was... An EMP. Now some additional siege tanks filtering in. But I'm assuming Dentard's going to have some reinforcements. Yeah, shortly to go ahead and wipe out what's left. Exit still trying to stagger this. And now it's turning into a mineral problem game for Exit. He's only got the two mining bases versus the four. Although this base is not yet saturated for Dentard. But a fierce battle feels like consistently this entire match. At the natural expansion, Exit really wanting to fight this out. Down 30 supply. Another EMP still trying to push it. And it looks like he's going to lose. Not getting hunted down, actually. Dentar just backing out. Some turrets attempting to get dropped by Exit. Just You can just see him just trying to shove his way there. And it's just not happening. Reinforcements now that are going to be needed on Exit's front door. Just to survive. 159 supply. 
He's not going to be able to establish this expansion. Dentarg making sure that's denied. Some additional vultures now taking this opportunity to try to flood through and find something. It looks like there is a cannon there. One problem for Dentarg, though, is, is I think he's still... Well, does he still have idle probes somewhere? It's pretty well saturated. Pretty well saturated. It's just the saturation in the upper left-hand corner just uh, not precisely optimal. But he's still near max supply. Exit now flooding out with vultures. I think deciding, okay, Dentarg, wherever you're not, that's where I'm going to try to be. Planting a lot of mines in the meantime and might try to make a run at these bases in the upper left-hand corner. If he can puncture that, take those bases out, he'll actually be in an okay position. Dentarg with a huge bank, though, and Exit starting to stagger a little, or, yeah, stagger a little bit. Reeling from... His current situation, Dentarg finding the troops, diving into them. A big EMP softening up those zealots. Great EMP, which is going to have those zealots get cleared out. A Psy Storm landing only on vultures. The rest of the vultures diving forward. Dentarg still with a handful of dragoons. But Siege Shank's still here, and it looks like they are going to be able to take down a pylon to open up an attack, potentially, in the upper left-hand corner. Reinforcements making their way that direction. Two dropships. Exit is just unrelenting. With the attacks on multiple locations, finding up maybe he's going to spot these dropships by having this nexus under attack in the upper left-hand corner. This nexus at the lower location, the probe's just going to go ahead and now saturate that upper left-hand corner. Potentially going to get taken out. Arbiters, three Arbiters versus one Goliath dropping a stasis, might be able to defend. Dentarg dedicating some troops to the bottom right. I have lost track of the dropship, so I'm not sure where it's headed currently. It looks like it's backed up. The nexus has been taken out. Upper left, there is action happening all over the map. It looks like finally a Dark Templar up here as well to provide some additional offense. Another Nexus being taken down right the bottom right-hand corner. But Exit, he's mined out at his third. He needs to take an additional base. He's now currently mining at one base. Still down in supply. He's been able to wipe out Dentarg's natural expansion in the upper left-hand corner. But Dentarg just is an afterthought retaking it. I'm not sure if this is a misrallied siege tank or what the siege tank's thinking. He is deep in enemy territory, though, and it looks like he's going to get taken out summarily. Dropship. Dropping some vultures. It looks like the DT going to be able to take out both siege tanks. And cannons cleaning up the vultures otherwise. Dentarg with some supreme defense here. Probe sneaking in that upper left-hand corner. Siege tank somehow survived here in the bottom right. The command center floating out. Is it going to take the middle of the map? The observer sees it floating out this direction. Was that... And that was a built command center. That's not floating from the natural domain or any other location. Needs to find a base. Exit potentially going to get starved out here. Vultures, Goliath, Seed Shank streaming to the upper left-hand corner. I think Exit wants to kind of go for a double... Pro yeah. Looks like he's just going to try to land in the middle. Well, maybe. Not sure where that command center is headed now. I think Exit's going to try to make his attack his defense. Try to keep Dentarg distracted. Dentarg finding some vultures here in the upper left-hand corner is just going to go ahead and go for that. Actually, size storming some of the mines, getting a great stasis on the troops to the lower corner. However, I don't know that he has sufficient troops to clear out what's left. Handful of troops grouping up. And as I say that, this is kind of a close reinforcement point. So it is possible that Exit can go ahead and reinforce to at least keep this defensive position alive. Dentarg still with the supply lead. Has the macro lead. Honestly, if he just defends and keeps crushing this army here over and over again, he'll be okay. Needs to stop Exit from mining in the middle of the map, though. This is, cl this is really classic exit play right here. Finally lifting up. The Observer sees this command center here. He has to know that some... But the problem is, is where the macro... Oh, man. These probes are going to get slaughtered along the way potentially as well. Dragoons moving up. Exit just, again, attacking, attacking, attacking. Finally, these probes able to get in the upper left-hand corner. Desaturate. So now Dentar fully saturated at three bases. Exit technically on two. But one of those is a very precarious position in the middle of the map. Dentarg still with the supply lead. 
which I feel like I've said many, many times this match, but it doesn't feel like it's translated into any form of cohesive map control just because Exit has been everywhere attacking all locations. Attack, 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 attack. And potentially looking for another opportunity. He still has those dropships, which has been very active, and I haven't done the best keeping an eye on them. Apologies for that. An observer... For Dentarg, making sure that the 6 o'clock location has not yet been grabbed. Some Dragoons, they can go ahead and stream into the middle. Oh, that's right. This is an island, technically. An island middle. Okay, there we go. Shuttle dropping those. I'm just going to ferry some troops in to take care of that. The command center can be lifted off, though, and there's only two Dragoons, so it'll. I don't know that that's going to survive all that long. And with these troops ferried out of location, might spell trouble because Exit again wanting to take shots at all of the holdings of Dentarg in the upper left. So Dentarg's near max supply. Most of his army looks like it's at the interior 3 o'clock location as Exit is now diving into the upper left while his base is under assault in the middle of the map. This puts Exit in a situation where he needs to crush these two bases in the upper left-hand corner. If he does, he could swing the match entirely in his favor but dentarg does have 200 supply near 200 supply the question is is where is that 200 supply troops moving in now exit actually might need to swing around with those siege shanks re-siege just to buy himself some time and defend against these dragoons a lot of those troops getting wiped out dentarg still with double the supply but don't call exit out yet because he still has siege tanks potentially threatening this upper left hand corner distance mining for dentarg now in the bottom right exits also trying to move his command center there to potentially mine great stasis finally clearing up these siege tanks looks like this might be it for exit finally as the siege tank's going to be wiped out, Dentark still holding can retake this upper left-hand base. In fact, he's going to drop it, it looks like, with these siege tanks still in position. But Exit's still able to cut off reinforcements. Let's see if he can go ahead and somehow get vultures up to reinforce the upper left to save these siege tanks and deny these bases. Still mining at that 9 o'clock location. Okay, those siege tanks getting wiped out. Exit refocusing now at the natural. Going to plop a bunch of mines right there. He does have the command center landed in the bottom right. And SCV's on location. This is insane. Vultures doing work on these Dragoons. Reinforcements trying to make their way back across. Exit now in a situation where, he, yes, he needs to attack that natural expansion because he needs to keep troops from filtering out to attack what soon could be his only mining base. An Arbiter finding purchase there. The Dragoons forcing those siege tanks back. And now, once again, that, ex that command center exposed as well as the SCV line. Exit moving reinforcements, but they are too late to save the mining base. Also, plenty of High Templar underneath. I think they've got a good amount of energy on them. Yeah, plenty of side storms. But, oh! One, one spider mine taking out two I Templars. Still plenty of side storm dropped. Exit now running out of opportunities. Dentarg still mining in the upper left-hand corner. Now denying, crazily, the base in the bottom right. Exit now going to go ahead and try to occupy the 6 o'clock location. These mineral patches starting to look precariously thin for Exit. Dentark still saturated in the upper left-hand corner. Still saturated at the natural at the same location. But Exit has found an additional mining base, which is going to put it, theoretically, two base versus two base. Problem for Exit is he's got half of Dentark's supply. My question is, is where is that supply for Dentark? It just feels like the attack force has been a control group or a control group and a half this entire time more pylons being dropped to seal up that upper left hand corner 
a drop, catching a few SCVs. And Dentark regrouping. This is maybe the match of this season of Hasu League. Exit regrouping, not missing a beat despite having half the supply. Pressing forward now, all of a sudden, that natural expansion under threat once again. The Dragoon's getting wiped out. A stasis catching two of those siege tanks. And once again, Exit getting pushed back. Feels like it's been the story of this match. Exit trying to take that natural expansion. And then being pushed back. 51 supply to 150 now. And Exit finally losing these siege tanks and his vultures to the 6 o'clock location. He actually has superior, somehow, a superior bank. But not the troops on the ground to defend the 6 o'clock base, which is a critical base to hold. And there is GG finally. Capital GG indeed. Well defended, top to bottom by Dentarg to give him the match. Wild one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.